As an increasing number of financial institutions and companies introduce cryptocurrencies into their operations and forward planning, regulators are getting closer to a crackdown on the crypto space. Joining me today to discuss the recent momentum in crypto is Dave Hassler from the Crypto Den. Dave, what has caused the recent momentum in cryptocurrencies, with Bitcoin topping at $50,000 US dollars again for the first time in three months? From a technical standpoint, it's it's really, really basic. It's a series of high highs, high lows, basically. But from a fundamental standpoint, you could probably pinpoint you know, any number of things from uh, PayPal is now sort of pushing and accepting cryptocurrency across the UK. You've got more investments from big hedge funds like MicroStrategy. You've got, of course, the everyone's favorite influencer, Elon Musk, coming out saying that you know he, he holds Bitcoin in his own personal holdings now as well, not just in Tesla. So... I think ultimately Bitcoin reached a, a, a bottoming of, of that $29,000, $30,000 level. And for us technical analysts, and that's a good level for us to be buying in and start entering back into the market again. And you know, you've, you've got the big hedge funds and things like that that are, are seeing the same sort of things on a technical standpoint, and they're going to be starting to enter their money back into the market. And then from the fundamental level, it's it's kind of a no one wants to be first, but no one wants to be last either. So everyone's, you know, mass adoptions here. It's it's happening, it's coming, and no one wants to be left behind. So you're starting to get the big companies and the big players of the world really, you know, taking this serious for a change and putting in really, really big amount of money. Have you noticed more momentum by financial providers into the crypto space or regulators getting closer to a crackdown on the crypto market? I think it's regulators more so cracking down on the space. So one of the main exchanges that is used here in Australia, which is Binance, has now closed off all futures trading for every new customer. And the reason for that is, what I understand is they're not regulated. They're not adhering to government regulations where you've got exchanges like FTX that are regulated and they are doing the right thing by those regulations and we can still access those. So companies like Binance that aren't doing the right thing by what the governments want, they are being cracked down on and regulated. Are investors still backing Bitcoin or are they moving more into sustainable, environmentally friendly altcoins? Oh, it's always going to be Bitcoin. Think of it as the US dollar in Forex or the stock market. Everything's traded against the US dollar. Bitcoin will always have that. Bitcoin has its scarcity, so that creates a lot of value. Every four years we have the halving, so that creates more scarcity, which creates more value. So that's why it's more of a store of value such as gold. But from a trading perspective and an investment perspective, Bitcoin's always going to be the top daddy. And have you noticed any new altcoins or new market entrants that are taking your interest? Um, as you know, I'm not huge into fundamental analysis, but there is one that's actually a Perth-based, Phaeton technology. And I know that they're doing some pretty cool things. So that's definitely one to keep an eye on, uh, in my opinion. But again, I'm not, I'm not a huge fundamental person. So I usually trade what I see in the charts and, and follow the money. But from an investment standpoint uh, on new companies, someone that's new to the market, then I like to keep an eye on Australian projects. And one coming out of Perth, Phaeton, is looking promising at the moment. Well, there you have it. Phaeton is a one to watch. Well, thanks for your time today, Dave. And we look forward to talking to you in the near future. That's okay. Thanks.